Hi guys! This Saturday is the 50th anniversary episode of Doctor Who, so this week we're going to talk about general Doctor Who favourites, I think. I'm going to launch straight into it and tell you that my favourite Doctor is Eleven, by a comfortable mile. I think Matt Smith is a really, really great actor. I think he has brought a really kind of different take on the role, I guess. I really like his kind of childishness. Is that even a word? I really like how he's kind of simultaneously old and young. And I really like his relationships with Amy, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Amy. I really like the two of them together. I really just like how Matt Smith says words. I like how his face moves. And I like his bow ties. So, favourite companion is Rose Tyler. Rose was the first companion that I really watched. I started getting into it David Tennant's first season and then I went back and watched Christopher Eccleston. But Rose was always my favourite part of the Christopher Eccleston stuff. I think she's really great. I think she's so normal and she's the polar opposite, I think, to kind of Amy and Clara who kind of exist as mysteries for the Doctor to solve. Which is interesting and fine and good in many respects. But I really, really liked how Rose was just a completely normal girl who got taken away on this adventure and her life got better for it. I think Billy Piper was really great. I think her last episodes were really great. I'm really, really excited that she's coming back for the 50th anniversary just because I think she's so great and I really miss Rose and I'm excited to see her again and see what she's up to. I really, really love Ten and Rose together. I think that The Impossible Planet, The Satan Pit, those episodes where they think they're going to be stuck there forever and she doesn't care as long as she's with him. That's just... Ugh. And then obviously Doomsday. Doomsday is just heartbreaking. But I really just love their dynamic and how much they liked each other. And I really, really miss Rose. Honourable mention to Donna Noble, who I know she's basically just Catherine Tate, not even acting, but she's really good. And I think she had a really, really good dynamic with the Doctor. Because um, we needed a break from people just falling in love with him. Martha. And I think she has some really, really great character moments as well. Favourite villains? I think the Weeping Angels? I didn't enjoy them in the Amy Rory goodbye episode so much, but um, season five maybe they're two-parter with the Crash of the Byzantium and River Song. They're two of my favourite episodes ever. I really love those episodes and I really love Blink. I think the Weeping Angels are just really, really clever and really scary. Less scary once you actually see them move though, so I kind of wish we had never seen them move because like when they move they're just quite clearly people dressed as statues. But yeah, I think the angels are really cool in practice and as a concept. I also really like the silence. And I know that there was some debate over whether they were just a carbon copy of, I think they're called The Gentleman from Buffy. I haven't got there yet. I um, just started season three, by the way, guys. But yeah, I thought the silence were really cool. I really like the tally marks they wrote on themselves. The suits were cool. They were creepy looking. They were scary. They were interesting. I really liked the silence. Although they did kind of bog down in the whole silence will fall business which went on for way too long. Older villain wise, I kind of always had a soft spot with the Cybermen. I think the Cybermen are funny. They're just funny how they don't have any emotion. I suppose it's not funny at all actually how they come to have no emotion. I also kind of like the Dalek Cybermen rivalry, especially in Doomsday. That's really, really funny. But I'm not the biggest fan of the Daleks just because they don't look remotely scary. Like you could push one over. Favourite episodes is a really, really tough one for me. All the episodes that Stephen Moffat did before he started running the show, so Blink, Silence in the Library, Girl in the Fireplace, I really, really love all those because they were kind of... I think Stephen Moffat works better when he writes one-off episodes. And I know he doesn't write the whole thing now, but the whole series has his kind of influence weave through it, and I think it suffers maybe a little bit because of that, because he just has such a kind of complicated style where you have to really think, or at least I have to really think when I'm watching his episodes to just make sense of what's happening. I think small doses in one of the episodes when Russell T Davis was running the show, I think it was kind of like a breath of fresh air where, you know, it was kind of silly family hijinks and then a really, really clever, interesting, cool episode would come along that Stephen Moffat had written. The Girl in the Fireplace is a really great episode and so is Blink. Carrie Mulligan! 
I love everything Carrie Mulligan does, so that's why that's one of my favourites. I think possibly my all-time favourite episode though is The Doctor's Wife. I think it took a really simple idea and made it really cool and interesting and really emotional. Like, what if the TARDIS could talk to the Doctor? I think it let Matt Smith really show a good range of emotions. Like, he's angry and he's really sad and he's really happy and... He had a really, really nice chemistry with Saran Jones as the TARDIS. The Amy and Rory stuff in that episode was also really good with the tunnels and the old Amy and the old Rory maybe. I'm not sure which one that got old. But yeah, I just found that whole episode really compelling and I don't know, it's just it's the one that jumped out and makes my favourite. I'm really, really excited to see David Tennant and Matt Smith together in the 50th anniversary episode. I'm really excited for Rose Tyler to come back. I'm excited to see Clara again. I'm excited that Karen Gillan's not going to be in it. Those were my very brief Doctor Who thoughts. I hope you will all enjoy the episode and I'll see you next week. Bye!